Hello. We want to look at how to obtain the mean score and the standard deviation for Lycan scale data. Lycan state scale data is used to check the or to assess um, the the degree of opinion for behaviors, attitudes, and um, most of um, psychological um, data set. So today we are going to look at how to obtain the mean score and standard deviation as quickly as possible. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be making use of Microsoft Excel. So quickly, let us obtain the mean score. So to obtain the mean score, we would, um, after uh, obtaining the various um, response attached to the various Lankin scale. So for this Lankin scale, we're having a five points Lankin scale, one to five. Here one is strongly disagreed, we have disagreed, then the other one is neutral, four is agreed, then five is strongly disagreed. All right, so let's quickly do this. So the first column here, we take the product of the respondent and the Lankin scale. So this will be the product of this times as this times this. Okay, so enter. So we just um, drag this down and we get a full uh, result. So we take the sum of this. The sum of this already is 200. So we're having 200 respondents here. So, so this is uh, just take the uh, equal sum from here to here and you hit enter. So the sum is 200. So we're having 200 respondents. So now we also take the sum of the product of the response and the Lycan scale. So taking the sum, so equal to sum. So we drag this down. And okay, so this is the sum. So to obtain the mean score, we take um, the sum of uh, the product of the respondent and the Lycan scale divided by the sum of the respondents. Alright, so this is our mean score. Okay, so the mean score can be interpreted for a five pointer scale. We can have um, uh, from 0 to 2.49 as disagreed, then from 2.5 to 5.0 as agreed. Now, to get the, the, the degree of agreed, we can say, okay, from 2.5 to 4.49 is agreed, and from 4.5 to five is strongly agreed. Okay, so we can say okay from zero to maybe around um, 1.49 would be strongly disagreed and from 1.5 to 2.49 would be disagreed, okay? So that is that for the main score. So let's quickly go to the standard division. Standard division talks about the dispersion or how far our data set is from our mean. So to obtain this uh, standard deviation, first of all, obtain the variance. To obtain the variance, we come here and take the look for the square difference of the Lankin scale and um, the mean score. Then we look for the product of that, take the sum and divide the sum by the total respondent. So let's quickly do that. So first, we look for the square difference of the Lankin scale. The square difference of the Lycan scale. So minus this. Okay, so minus this. So now let us lock this so that we can use this for the entire column. So put our dollar sign here and uh, here. So the square of that, and we hit the equal the enter the enter key. Then we drag this down so that you can take effect for the entire column. Alright, now having done this, we will look for the products of this and the respondents. So this, the products of this and um, this. Enter. Then we drag this down. Okay, so we take the sum of this. Take the sum of this. Enter. So this is the sum. So to obtain the variance, we say the variance will be equal to this, the sum of this divided by the total respondent. Enter. 
so this is the variance to obtain this standard deviation we take the square root of the variance the square root of the variance all right so this is our standard deviation the higher the standard deviation we have that is to say we have um, the dispersion between the data points and the mean is very high the lower the standard deviation tells us that the dispersion between the mean the data point and the mean is um, close or closer so thank you very much and uh, here you have it